In my travels across Oregon, I have often found big stories in small places, places where the unique Oregon spirit is alive and well and communities reach out to help people's lives. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we travel into rural Tillamook County where the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife has teamed up with an all-volunteer army to make certain that youngsters always have food to eat. Each fall, big fish overcome huge odds to continue their cycle of life. But at Waterhouse Falls, the salmon's journey is briefly interrupted. Female Chinook. Wild salmon, like this Chinook, are caught in a concrete trap where they are tagged, measured, and then released to swim to spawning grounds in the North Fork Nahalem River. But it's a different story for the hatchery coho salmon. 610, we'll kill them, get our data. Those fish will go outside the trap and then uh, we'll, we'll put them in the tote with ice and then have volunteers come up and take those fish to the food bank. Thanks to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, the surplus hatchery coho salmon Two hatchery fish. meet a growing demand for food in Tillamook County. It's all local, it's all the best possible protein you can get. It's our own salmon. It just helps all the way across. Now, normally, this would be end of the line for these salmon, but not this year. In fact, it's just the start. These fish are headed down to Garibaldi, Oregon, and a fish canner, and soon to one of the most important needs in the community. The Tillamook Bay Boathouse cleans, cuts, and cooks the raw salmon. It's all good. Panning the salmon gives it a longer shelf life, and that's important. We have so many children uh, in the state of Oregon who need food. We have the ability and the opportunity to provide something for these kids. That's why we're here. Can you move this around a little? Just kids who live here also lend a hand for the salmon canning project. Just so people would have an idea and it had to say that it was processed at Tillamook Bay Boathouse and that they were Waterhouse Falls hatchery fish. Nia Connie High School students designed labels for the cans. So we got some more over here too. Uh, they also glue the labels onto the cans, all 8,000 cans. Not just salmon, but donated sport caught tuna fish. In rural Tillamook County, where up to 70% of school enrollments below the poverty line, these students know their efforts help others. You know that people do have problems buying their weekly groceries or providing for their family. So it's good to have someone like there to help them. And you're part of that. Yeah. It didn't even occur to me. It's just something that I looked over. And now I kind of see it. Like seeing how this is going to help so many people. I think they're all a little bit shocked of how needy our community is. And, and some of them are quiet because they know it's them that are the, the recipients. They know it's probably their duty to step up and try to help out. They do step up with hundreds of cases of canned fish that isn't for sale, but is given away to schools and local food banks, where the salmon provides critical protein for youngsters who'd otherwise go hungry. Here's a class that's doing labels for salmon to be handed out, but there's pride that goes into that, and there's a sense of ownership. That's something that will last people for the rest of their lives. In a uniquely Oregon spirit, local folks have figured out neighbor helping neighbor gets everyone through tough times. Volunteers with the Tillamook County Salmon Canning Project say they are making a big difference in making sure people always have food to eat. They also say the same project could work in many rural Oregon communities. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can learn more about the all-volunteer army in Tillamook County right here on the Travel Oregon website, so check it out. Until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComb.